megabytes versus gigabytes. So a byte is 8 bits. A kilobyte is a thousand-ish <laughs> bytes. And I say ish because it's a little odd. In the binary system, because things are base 2, rather than being even thousands, they're often thousand twenty-four. And so it used to be that a kilobyte was 1,024 bytes, and a megabyte was 1,024 kilobytes, and a gigabyte was 1,024 megabytes. Now, the math gets a little hard when you start going 1,024 to the third power, because instead of just having one with nine zeros after it, you've got this funnier number that's closer to 1.1 10 to the ninth power. So there can be an almost 10% difference in the size when you start doing these multiplications out, as opposed to the old 2%-ish that it was a very long time ago. So when you're buying an SD card, lots of times it will say on the package that the 16 gigabytes is with a little asterisk after it, and it will say that the gigabyte is one followed by nine zeros bytes, not the 1024 to the third power number that gigabyte used to mean. When you're talking about bytes and bits, that's always the 8x number. So if you're talking about a 1 megabit connection versus a 1 megabyte connection, that is the power of 8 and that will always be the same. Things can get really weird when you're talking about reading off of a hard drive because some things will say that they're measured in megabits per second and some things will say they're reading in megabytes per second. And because of the differences in the way a mega can either be a thousand or a thousand twenty-four kilo, and a kilo can either be a thousand or a thousand twenty-four bytes, you can end up with some really weird math when you're trying to configure, figure out whether or not a hard drive or your network connection is faster, or the hard drive or the SATA connection is faster, if one of them used mega bytes and defined it as 1024 and the other used kilobits and defined it as 1000. So numbers get a little weird because of marketing deciding that we weren't going to follow computer science and use 1024 instead of 1000 everywhere.